one thing continues to be steady as she goes. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Thursday, August the 20th. And, well, again, one thing remains steady. <laughs> the NASDAQ knows no sell-offs. No matter how hard they try, they cannot get it to break. And once again, being down big this morning is now higher on the day. Okay, And it is the only index that is up again. And it just goes up and up and up. You know, it's like the everybody budding. It keeps running and running and running. Well, again, at some point it'll stop. But again, why get in the way? So, bottom line, we remain long across the board. Doesn't matter. Again, it, again, this is the point when you can take your emotions and your opinions out and just let the markets trade and know that at some point you will be reversing the other direction. Uh, you know, the grains continue to now struggle again. And of course, some of this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, what's harvest, it's this, you know, reasons. Look, grains look great, okay? Wheat is still weak, we're still short wheat, but again, getting closer to turning, slightly lower day. Beans are down, corn is down. Now they're just coming back to support levels, okay? Look, we can we can try to make all these as we want. We're long both. I expect both to go much higher. I think the action is actually fairly bullish when you look at it from a straight look at side, price action side, instead of trying to always figure out why things are happening, you just follow the price because the price will always tell you everything. So in the meantime, they're all lower, but we're still long corn, long beans, and, and looking to get long wheat because we want to be long them all. Uh, and of course, the meats and cattle, you know, fats and feeders are both down a little bit marginally. Uh, Hogs are up about three bucks or so. And again, the, we have reverse on this. Right, we are long soap. But I mean, either way, again, we expect them all to go higher. Again, the patterns, the price action looks good. So for my money, I'm happy to be in it. And I'm happy and I expect to see a continuation of higher prices. Uh, bonds are higher. Notes are higher. We're short them. You know, again, I don't mind being short them right now. Look, we'll change when we change. I don't mind being short. But again, you're seeing that now the bonds are up and the dollar's up again. Now, the dollar itself is still pretty weak. We're still short it. Now, it's no surprise. 94 cents, if we start to get through 94, I think then you get it maybe going back up again. But until, until then, all we're seeing is a big wide swing between 92 and 94. So in the meantime, we're doing great there and fine and happy with it. Uh, copper, you know, after having a monster run, is now under some pressure. We'll see. We are long copper now. We'll see what happens. You know, throughout the next couple of days, obviously it's not going to change today. We never changed interday, regardless. So again, doesn't really matter. Uh, the overall crude oil is pretty choppy, but you know, down 30, 40 cents. It's, it's just kind of churning, waiting. But again, we're still long it, and as much as I hate it, it's still the pattern is still fairly relatively bullish. So again, I wouldn't be out there searching to try to find a plot why to short it. Reason to short it, I'd find a reason why I should be involved and why I should take my opinions and, and take them where they don't belong. Because again, in, in markets, emotions and opinions do not belong here. Uh, gold and the metals are under pressure again. Now, look, we, 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 we had reversed them. We've been short. And of course, it was very painful, the big rally on Monday. But we've already lost all that and more. And again, it looks like we're headed lower for now. Now, again, we're not predicting a lifetime. We're, we're playing the trend as it is. So remember, I don't, I'm not looking at ridiculous calls of what gold could go to or silver. Go. I'm telling you that right now we're short. That's all. And we're still long platinum. And at the end of the day, when they change, we'll change and then we'll change our tune. But for now, there's no reason to. So my point is, is why bother? Think about it. In the meantime, don't forget about our great partnership with Family Farms. Lots of big stuff happening there and a lot of good things. So, again, we'll give you, as we get more, we'll give you more information, but excited to be involved. And our brokerage partners, you know, as I tell you every day, you know, in my opinion, I have other brokerage accounts, but in my opinion, we have the best partners for both futures and commodities, which is the CTG group. They do a phenomenal job, they've got great customer service. Uh, they've got some brand new products that are awesome. In fact, we're going to present them to you uh, over the next few weeks. But again, 
They do a great job of customer service. They do all of our letter direction trading, including mine. Okay. And again, if, if I'm putting my money there and letting them do my trading, what does that tell you? So in the meantime, CTG, great for futures and, 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 equi- and, and commodities. And of course, for equities and options, trade here. Why would you want to pay for something you don't have to pay for? And you're paying $10 a month to a place that not only gives you great prices, which is 10 bucks flat, they have great customer service, they answer the phone when you need it. Okay, so again, it's just easier to say, why do you? Do, why would we want to pay more for the same thing? It, it does, it's not a logical point. I could never figure it out. In the meantime, if you want information on either CTG or Trader, please email me at bubbit, bubbitrading.com. I have a special link for both to get you the special deals. And of course, uh, don't forget about our commodity report. You know, as I said, Andy Hecht is involved in Bubba Trading. He does a great job with it. And of course, he has been in the business for 40 years. He's been trading physical commodities as well as regular commodities forever. He does a great report, which is totally detailed, which covers the fundamentals and the technicals, which is why it's called Technomental. Check it out at bubbitrading.com. Uh, and him and I will be doing a presentation together as well. But you can check him out on Seeking Alpha too to see who he is. He's the number one author on Seeking Alpha. And of course, don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, markets are a little higher. It's, it's just a very dull, slow day. So again, trade away, but just know your exits, know what you're trying to accomplish, and understand the price action. In the meantime, have a great day. Be healthy. Enjoy beautiful weather. Take care of yourself. We'll see you all tomorrow right here with another Bubba's Daily Update.